Today we're going to be looking at this from Deep Cool. It's basically an ARGB free fan pack. On the front of the box you can see the ARGB fan with a big X across the front. It looks something like out of the X-Men movies. You've got the model number. It tells you about all the ARGB software it works with, which it should do with pretty much any as long as it's your 5 volt stuff. And you've got three fans in there. One fan hub, one ARGB hub and one ARGB controller. On the back of the box, you've got multilingual descriptions as well as specifications. And on one of the sides, it also shows you a few diagrams as well as measurements of the products. So inside the box, you've got the three fans, which came in plastic bags, which also came in foam protection for the top and the bottom. Then inside this cardboard box came another three bags with uh, all the adapters and RGB controllers and so forth and screws, as well as the manual which didn't come in a plastic bag. So poor little manual, no plastic bag. Okay, before we look at the fan itself, let's just have a look at the cable. And as you can see, there is a lot of it. There isn't one central hub. It's sort of split into two, potentially three, depending on how you want to look at it. So first of all, you've got roughly a 40 centimeter cable, uh, well, 35, 40 centimeter cable. that sort of comes between from the fan to the actual controller for the fan. So that's a PWM fan splitter controller so you can connect all three fans there's even option you can add an extra one on there as well uh, and then you'd connect that up to your motherboard and that would then control the speed of the fans you do have a little adapter which you can attach to each fan this is basically a uh, low speed adapter which makes the fan run a little bit slower um, so obviously if you want it even quieter you can do and you have to put that bit on between the fan hub and the actual fan so on there like that and then back into the controller there like that so that's how you connect the fan up to the motherboard now you've got the rgb lights so it does come with an rgb sort of controller or splitter depending on how you want to put it or hub so it does have room for five different RGB devices, but they all have to use this special free pin connection. It's not your standard five volt header you would normally get on most devices. So you would have to connect all three fans up to that. And then you have a choice of connecting it up to a SATA power connection, which comes with an inline controller. So you can adjust the effect and the speed on this actual controller here. Bear in mind, there is no way to change those lights on the outside of the case. So that's a little bit of a pain. It's sort of a set it at what you want it to look like. And then you're pretty much stuck with that unless you decide to open your case up and change it. The other option is you can actually connect it up if you have got a controller built into your motherboard with this cable here. Basically, then you can connect it up with a standard 5 volt 3 pin connection to your motherboard. Uh, so you can control it through your motherboard software or uh, through your motherboard software or a different controller. But again, this day and age, really all these should be combined into one with a uh, basically a remote control so you can change it. Uh, that's the only major niggle I've got with the cabling. So let's have a closer look at the actual fan. So it's a lot more different than you may think. The reason being is there are no support beams on the back. You might think, oh no, those are the support beams there. They're not. This is actually the front side of the fan, so it actually blows air that way. So there is no support beams or brackets on the back. So all your cabling goes through this X on the front here, which you may think, oh, may look a little bit messy, but it's actually got RGB lighting down the edges of the X as well as on the fan blades as well. So that makes it quite interesting and very different. And as I said, it looks like something out of the X-Men movies or something like that. And if you've got those set up in your case, it's going to be a look a lot different than your box standard case, which normally looks more like that with the fans in and obviously the logo there. Now, one thing what I don't like is there is no cutouts on the middle of these fans here. So you can't, for, for example, some devices you want to connect it up to like heat sinks you have to cl uh, clip it in halfway through the fan you can't do it on these there is no physical way so that's one downside of it but otherwise i can't say really much bad about it yes it is plastic so there's no aluminium or anything so you may find it feels a little bit cheap because it is plastic but saying that it seems to be a bit good build quality 
Now you've got seven blades on the actual fan. It's probably easy to see from the back and it's sort of got like another cutout on top as well. So it allows it to shift even more air through. It actually looks a bit like having a spoiler on the back of the car. Um, it's basically like each blade has got a spoiler on it. So it helps it shift a little bit more air. But otherwise, it looks pretty good. One thing to uh, mention though is on the corners on the back side, you have got anti-vibration anti on it, um, on each corner, but you don't on the actual front. Okay, so let's have a look at the actual fans themselves. As you can see, they spin pretty nice and all this, that and the other. The actual blades light up and then you've got this RGB effect going across in an X on over the top of all the actual blades, which looks pretty good. The colouring of the actual blades of the fans themselves don't look as bright as probably as, uh, as the actual X is built on. There are quite a few different variations you can set the actual fans up as in different styles. So for example, as you can see here, there are quite a few different effect styles you can go for. Bear in mind, if you've got them plugged into your RGB software on your motherboard, you can do that. So it's totally up to you how you want to set it up. But it gives you a few ideas. So bear in mind, you might find the effects may not look as good as they do with a controller. But the one thing which is the biggest negative is the controller for these fans is a little basically switch which you have to take uh, have to keep inside your computer so if you ever want to change the rgb effects using the switch you've got to open your case up or find a unique way like we have of dangling the cable outside of the case to change the lighting would have been nice to have some sort of remote control where you could remotely change the lights via a button so in conclusion we've got three unique looking fans with a big x across the front which is something you don't really see every day now, don't get me wrong, they're probably not the best performing fans on the market. They're probably not the quietest fans on the market. They're probably sort of a middle rounder, but you have got that unique look. The downside, though, unfortunately, is to control the lights. If you haven't got an RGB motherboard, or should I say addressable RGB motherboard, then you have to do it with the switch, which just switches on the inside of the case. So if you want to change your colors from red to blue, you've got to open your case up and press a button on the switch and then close it back up. A little bit antiquated that to be honest they could do with a little remote control where you can change the colors like you get on a lot of them on the market these days but otherwise they do look good so if you're able to connect them up to your motherboard or you don't mind opening your case up every five minutes to change the colors then they're definitely a recommended product i hope you enjoyed that video if you did and you want to see more deep cool products click this box just here just right up here otherwise you want to see other fan reviews we've done in the past then click this box just here. Otherwise, just make sure you subscribe and give us a thumbs up or press the bell or whatever it asks you to do.